I had started putting feelers out probably three months before I met you, when I left my last role. You know, as I told you, I had battled cancer and it was just nice to have a little break. Uh, my prior company gave me a pretty long runway with that one year severance. I really started um, what I'll call true job searching in like October of 2020. Probably in that January, like at the end of December. I had in my head that, and this is probably one of the things that I'll say, you know, you helped me with. I had in my head that my, that it was the end of the year, people stop hiring because they go on holiday, et cetera, et cetera. But I wasn't getting the activity that I expected based on my experience, my education, my skill set. You know, supply chain is in high demand at that time. And so me finding a job really should not have been difficult. And I just didn't feel that I was getting the level of inquiries that that I was expecting at, you know, at the director level and higher. And, and that's what it was really about is I very easily could have taken a step backwards, taken a manager type role. I turned down some job offers because mm -hmm. they were companies that were trying to get somebody with my skill set at a manager salary. And I, and I wasn't willing to do that. I didn't have to do that was the nice thing. When I came across um, your program and kind of looked into the details, I realized that I had not been networking in Houston. Yeah. And, and here's the fun part. I'm not staying in Houston, but you know, everything happens for a reason. But I, I wasn't connected here like I used to be back in, in Michigan. Now the good thing is, is that we are going back to Michigan. Mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't my connections that got me the job there either. It, it was just good alignment, you know, between the what the job was looking for mm -hmm. and uh, you know, my prior skill set. So, you know, everything fell in place. But I will say that Overall, the time, you know, the last three months that we've spent together and, and me working through the ECU program, I've learned a lot of skills that I know I will carry with me. How to network more effectively, because I can't say with certainty, you know, we all hope that this will be the last job we need, mm -hmm. you know, that I will climb, you know, the corporate ladder at, at a very good company. But you just, you never know. I, I thought that at my last job too. And, and things yeah. happen and change. The program helped me do something that I hadn't been doing, and, and that was networking and doing it effectively, getting people to actually pick up the phone and talk to you. I would say that that was probably the number one takeaway for me. You got me in the right mindset to go out there and, and realize that I have something to offer, that companies should be looking for people like me instead of the other way around. My mindset, I think, before the program was kind of like, I, you know, I need to find a job versus a company saying, I need to find someone like Chris. That, and that's what it ended up becoming. It, it gave me a, a renewed, I, I've always been a pretty confident person, but I think it gave me a renewed confidence. You know, the, the job market was there. It was just a matter of me selling myself correctly. You know, I think that my, my profile, the help you guys gave me with that, uh, and the new resume was outstanding. It, it got a lot of uh, kudos. You know, from people that I talk to just saying, hey, Chris, it, it's just a matter of time. You know, you have a great yeah. background. You're, you're selling yourself right. Um, so your guys' help with that was tremendous. There was a lot of, of great things that I'm going to be able to carry with me down the road. And, and like I said, I hope to not have to use it again. But now I, f I feel like I'm armed with a new tool set that if it's needed, I'll know what to do. Stick with it. And, and what I mean by that is I think that one of the best pieces of advice that I remember you giving was if you're not uncomfortable, you're not making progress. There were times where I was uncomfortable. I, I'm not somebody who's a cold call type of guy. No, but that's what it, that's really what it came down to though was, it, but it was that networking piece. Like once I've always had an interview, I've never struggled with that because it almost like it turns that trigger and says, oh, they want to talk to you. That's why they want the interview. Whereas networking was, ah, I really don't like, you know, putting myself out there. And, and so I always struggled with that piece and, and that, that fear is gone. I've made connections, I think during this, and here's the bad, probably 700 more connections. I mean, I, I don't think I will ever hesitate um you know to continue my networking from here on up i mean i want to make sure that i do it right